marble pram system. This is in the colour sandstone. We also have three other colours available. It's maroon, teal, green and charcoal black. So with the new marble we have got a different colour chassis. So this is the black matte finish on the chassis. Still got the logo at the side of the frame. You've also got a piece of leather handle cover and the extension in the middle of the handle to adjust at different heights. Down to the bottom of the chassis you can see a nice large basket. You've also got the um, puncture free all terrain wheels. The wheel lock for the front wheel as well. And you also have a So the cover cut, very similar to the, the previous mar marble edition. You've got the clips, the grey clips either side, again, to place your weight, lift the clips and pull up. Same function, no additional adapters required. We've got this beautiful sandstone fabric. This is shower proof. And you've got a padded uh, cozy toes, foot muff. Nice black matte finish chassis on the carry cut also. The hood has got an extension, comes with ventilation on either side, great for shade. When not required you can zip this back. Now moving on to the interior. Now as you can see in the new Marvel pram systems we've got this beautiful animal print lining. Now this is in the hood and on the pram liner or carry cut liner. So it runs all the way down. I'm just going to remove the cozy toes so this is put and fastened so you just have to undo those on either side again a PU leather handle cover bumper bar so this padding liner it can be reversed and as you can see it's a all black fleece liner so it's up to you which way you have it you've got the shoulder pads and the crotch pad and a five point safety harness this now this is a travel system so this is a two in one three in one with the car seat so again apply some weight lift the handles and lift upwards now you can convert this carry pot into a seat so as you see at the side the straps are tucked away when they're, when they're not required so just gently pull these out and again on the other side so at the back there you can fasten these straps through the slots there push down slightly and click these together and the same again with two further straps at the bottom, the bottom straps you just need to push this the bottom base down slightly for the lower straps to meet and click these together like so and you can turn this around so you can have this parent facing or forward facing, so you can have this car, um, seat sitting at either side. Right now I'll put it forward facing, so you can see. So I would advise you to remove the closer toes or boot cover. There's a handle at the top of the hood, press that in. Also can be recline at two positions. Now, to set this, all you need to do is place your hand on the base of the seat and push down. Also push the footrest in. And that's the seat. Now that you know how to set the cabin cut into a seat mode, you can remove the seat to allow the car seat to fit on. So, if I turn this to the side, and again, the car seat can be fitted onto the chassis with the same adapters as on the carry cut and seat frame. As mentioned, no additional adapters are required. All you need to do is slot into the two fittings either side of the frame. And clip down. Now what you can do is press these red buttons either side of the handle for the car seat and this can be pushed back to have access to baby. Again lovely sandstone fabrics 
on the interior and exterior. You push this back. You've also got the baby head hugger insert, shoulder pads and crotch pads. Now again, I'm going to remove this from the frame. So as you can see there's a handle which is placed in the middle of the frame. It would always be underneath the car seat or underneath the carry car seat. So what you need to do is place your hand on the handle and you'll see a grey button here. So place your hand, palm on the handle and your thumb on the button and pull up. So this is a very easy one-handed fold chassis.